it's me, it's Liam Green, to be doing my September favourites. Oh, I've got the hiccup. And I have got a ton of favourites this month. As you all know, if you saw my Mac haul, I had a lot of products to try out and play with and get to know, so it left me with a ton of favourites. So my dog was growling. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is showing you some randoms that are not really makeup related and um, that I've been loving this month as well. So let's just jump straight into that. Excuse my phone. I'm going to start with like foodie things if that makes sense. So the first thing is this Frankie's Hot Chocolate and this came in like a big box like this and it has little marshmallows in it too. Um, and I recently got this to try out and it is so so good and they come in like little sachets they're perfect for school and stuff I can just throw them in my bag and then make some lovely hot chocolate at school so I've been loving those for more hot chocolate on the go not so much at home though um, so that was that and then I have been having this like obsession with Oreos so Oreos have been probably a go to like treat if that makes sense, like a, a go-to little treaty thing. So I have been loving Oreos. And sticking to that whole Oreo theme, this Oreo hot, hot chocolate, <laughs> Oreo chocolate has been one of my favorites. I've had this for almost a week and I haven't quite felt like it quite yet, but I did want to have this in my favorites because it has been if I'm gonna get a chocolate or whatever, this has been my go-to one. So other than that, a couple other randoms, and these are more, these are beauty related. Oh. I have been loving these Johnson's Baby Extra Sensitive Wipes um, for spot cleaning my brushes in between, because I have been doing a lot of looks. Um, every day I do something different, as you guys know, so it's nice to just quickly do a spot clean the night before. So when I wake up in the morning and do my makeup, it's clean. Um, this is not to deep clean my brushes. I do that on a Sunday. Every Sunday I do that with some baby shampoo, and I just it up quickly. Then I have more beauty favourites and the first one is this Nivea Happy Time Shower Cream and this is with Caring Bamboo Milk Uplifting Scent of Orange Blossom and this stuff is so so moisturising and it is so, oh, it smells amazing. I have seriously seriously been loving this um, in the shower, it's amazing. And then sticking to the shower, shampoo and conditioner I have been loving the Moroccan oil this is just the hydration one but I will show you something as you can see mine is purple um, I do make purple my own purple shampoo um, it's running now I make my own purple shampoo so if you guys do want to see a video on that I will show you but this is just the purple because my hair is blonde it is good to wash hair with purple shampoo just to keep it toned and then the shampoo is the blue one again hydrating and it's well it's purple um i do use the hydrating mask as well every now and then um but i this is definitely my favorite shampoo um so again if you guys want to see a video i'll show you i do have the salon like in salon size pumpy one at home so i just dispense it into a little bottle and then make purple. Um, that is it. Then for the last little like, or the last two little randoms actually. The first one is the Sorbet Spa Escape Hydrating Body Butter, and it looks just like this, and it smells. It smells amazing, and it is super hydrating. I put this on at night, just before I go to bed, and it is, it is, freaking incredible. Then the Libero Lip Butter. This is vanilla macadamia. I have been loving, loving, loving this. I love the smell of it. I love that it really, really um, moisturizes the lips really well. Again, I've been putting this on at night and in the mornings. Then the rest is all makeup, and this is makeup we're gonna get through. I do keep myself in boxes because I have not finished. This will soon be my makeup station over there once I get a mirror in and a chair and I can get rid of all that crap. And I can put my makeup away and store my makeup in the storage I have. But I haven't had the chance yet because I do not have a mirror. So I have to sit on the floor to do my makeup. So I've been keeping my makeup in little like containers like this. Um, on the floor just so it's easy 
taxis but once it is in there I will have it and because it's in containers it makes it handy to see the names of my products so I don't have to keep shopping through things so I have kept all my products in their boxes for now and the first thing I'm going to show you is this product and this is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Light Scapade it looks just like that it is absolutely amazing I'll just swatch for you it looks just like that I have it on today Day. It is a very, very subtle, almost natural finish. It's perfect for under your eyes as well. This is a product I have been loving this month. Um, keeping to that theme, I have been getting a ton of use. I've been preferring this for under my eyes, but for like my cheekbones and stuff, I've been loving my MAC Soft and Gentle. I'm sure you guys have seen this a million times. This is a little more golden. Um, I don't know if you can see that all that well. It's a little more golden and it's a lot more shimmery. As you can see, I have got rid of my dome. But I love this two bits. It is amazing. Then for foundation-wise, my MAC face and body has been a lifesaver. Especially when I went away, I did tend to use only really this. And then the one day I used my... Um, studio scalp foundation but I do seriously seriously love this this is my holy grail um, foundation by far and I'm planning on doing a full video just on that like talking about it and stuff keeping to foundation I have been loving my oh, MAC Pro oh. Longwear which is disgustingly dirty I do need to clean all my makeup today at some point today um, I recently got my mom and dad gave me this for my birthday so I recently got to dive straight back into this and it is my absolute favorite 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 full coverage foundation I will again also have I'm thinking of doing a foundation video like my favorite foundations and why type thing let me know and then one of my favorite primers I have been loving and I found has improved my skin and my makeup application and makeup last how my makeup lasts has been the MAC Prep and Prime Moisture Infusion Serum. I have been getting a ton of use out of this. I do have eczema skin and acne prone skin. And my skin is extremely dehydrated, so this comes in handy very often. Okay, now we can move on to a powder. My all-time favorite setting powder is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. I'm in the shade Medium Plus. As you can see, I have hit pan right there. I will be repurchasing this. It is an amazing setting powder for more full coverage foundation. As for my face and body, I do set that with my um, Studio Fix powder, just because it has a tad bit more coverage. And then for bronzers, I've been loving this bronzer. As you can see, it is one of my favorite bronzers, but I have been loving doing a really, really sculpted look with this. Um, I've been playing around with different brushes with this, and I've really found something I'm enjoying at the moment. That is one of my favorites as well. As for blushes, I have two at the moment. And this is like my spring and summer blush that I use. I only own three blushes. I'm not too big on blushes. I think one day I will collect a few more. But this one is um, in Well Dressed. And it just looks something like that. I wear this pretty much on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, I, ha I love this blush. And then another one I have been loving more for like the evening time or if I'm going out. Like today I had this one on just because of the look I'm wearing. And this is like a more like orangey, peachy tone blush. And this is in Seduce at Sea. This was limited edition. So I do apologize for that. But this is an amazing, amazing blush. I have been loving that. Then, oh, this is a lot of products. I'm sorry. This is going to be a too long of a video. I have been loving the MAC. Um, brown luxe palette and these are the Velux Pearl Fusion eyeshadow palettes and this is in a brown Velux I have been in love with this palette Woo! Oh, I didn't know that was on there it's got a little thing um, I didn't, I'm oh, sorry I have been loving I have been loving this two bits at the moment um, it was perfect when I went away I took this when I travelled you can do a lot of looks with this one palette, and I will have a tutorial up using this fairly soon. Then, keeping on to shadows, two, three, 
favourite eyeshadows definitely have been the Pro Longwear eyeshadows and I've been loving the eyeshadows in I should have unpackaged all of these before I stop filming um, these two have been my top three at the moment and this is in Uninterrupted pretty sure you guys have seen this a lot this is just like a deep caramel colour it is gorgeous as a transition shade I have been pairing that a lot of the time with my Pro Longwear eyeshadow in Lie Low and creating like a nice little smoky eye you will see a tutorial I'll be using this as well um, fairly soon then I have been loving this eyeshadow and this is in hot paprika and I have been doing a nice little springtime look with this and I have been it is by far my favorite spring look I have done again I will have the tutorial up I've been creating some looks that I will have up very very soon as for bases like eyeshadow bases which is the next thing I picked up I have been in love with my MAC chilled on ice paint pot as well as my Let's Skate Paint Pot, which looks like that. These two have been absolute favorites at the moment. Today I have on Chilled on Ice um, with the look I have on today. Next, for eyeliner, I have been getting a ton of use out of my gel liner. This is just Black Track, the Fluid Line Gel. I've been loving that. And then I've been tight lining with my regular MAC eyeliner I have been using that a lot lately, uh, lately as well then one of my probably most used products this whole month um, by far has been the MAC electric cool eyeshadow in super what this has been one of my life savers I have been using this oh, it's a terrible swatch non-stop looks like that it is a gorgeous color the pigmentation is amazing I have been so in love with this eyeshadow it is absolutely phenomenal I have been oh you're gonna yeah now I've been pairing that a lot of the time with Omega eyeshadow from MAC I'm not gonna take this out of the packaging um, this is just Omega eyeshadow from MAC as well as satin taupe from MAC which is weird. yeah Satin taupe from MAC. I'll take this one out of its packaging. This is MAC Satin Taupe. I've been pairing those three together a ton this month and I've been loving it. Then with my Hot Paprika eyeshadow that I mentioned just now, which is this one, I have been pairing MAC's Coppering and Amber Lights with them. These two eyeshadows are incredible. They look just like that. Um, they are absolutely beautiful. Coppering reminds me a lot of Cranberry. I'll put the two side by side. Cranberry was one of my go-to winter looks. Um, but those are them side by side. Um, but those have been some of my absolute favorites. Alongside with those, I have been loving, um, Naked Lunch and Ho, 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 Twinks. And shroom. I should have taken out the packaging. I'm so sorry. This is a stupid idea. And arena. Okay. So there's a couple more. This one is naked lunch, and there's this beautiful like pinky champagne colour. And I've been getting a lot of use out of this for school mornings. And that paired with Ho, which is this one. And this is a beautiful colour to pair with it. There's like a mauvey purpley colour. This is stunning. Then I have been getting a lot of use out of Irina as a transition shade. Arena, sorry, Arena. Arena. This is a lot like Peach Smoothie. I'm assuming on camera. I've never seen Makeup Geek's Peach Smoothie. Then Cordery has been a top of mine as well. And then also Twinks. Oh, Twinks, Twinks, Twinks. Is absolutely beautiful. Okay, last few products. I promise, I'm sorry this video is so long. I should have cut down my favourites, but I just couldn't. I've, I've had more favourites than this. I have been getting a ton of use out of a product that I kind of stopped using for a bit. And this is the MAC Prep and Prime, like painting. I'm not going to swatch it because it's just a waste. 
And this is in Radiant Rose, and I've been using it a lot in my inner corner just to brighten that area. And I have been loving it. And then two favorite, like, okay, now it's onto lips, and these are like my, oh, wait, 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 wait. Last little eye thing. This is just the eyebrow fluid gel thing in Dirty Blonde. I have got it on today. It has been my favorite way to do my brows in a long time. Right, now the last little, little, little bits are my lips. My lips, my lips. Okay, so as for pencils, these are the three pencils I have been using. And the first one is magenta. I do have this on today. Um, it is a beautiful, beautiful color. It looks like that. It is like a beautiful pinky. It's a magenta color, pretty much. Let's say it that way. Then Will Liner, which I'm sure you've all seen plenty, which looks just like that. This is like that Kylie Jenner lip. It's beautiful. And then Oak, which is more like of a caramelly color. So those three liners have been my top liners recently. And then to pair with those, I have been using a couple of lipsticks. Um, I do have a few more favorites than this. <laughs> But I thought I'll just narrow it down to my top four lipsticks. And the first one is what I have on today. And this is the Viva Glam Rihanna 2 lipstick. I'm wearing this today with magenta lip liner and then the gloss that goes with this. I have been obsessed with this um, lip combo. Another lip combo I have been using a ton, a ton is Honey Loved mixed with Oak or Wool lip liner. It's a beautiful, beautiful colour. Um, and then another one is Peach Blossom, which has been a beautiful, everyday, kind of quick, put on your lips type of lipstick. And then the last one is Razzle Dazzle, which is this lovely, curly orange, which I've been loving for spring. Last, 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 absolute last product I have been in love with is a lip gloss. And I found I can pair this with almost any lipstick, which I thought I wouldn't be able to. And this is the Rihanna Viva Glam 2 Lip Gloss. Guys, that is it for my extremely crazy amount of favorites. I don't often get favorites, so when I do it, it's usually a lot of products. I apologize for that. Um, I have been loving, loving all the products I definitely got this last month. And I've been loving trying to play and use all these new products. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you all very, very soon. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, let me know down below if there's any videos you want to see. I will have a ton of videos up very, very soon. Um, different looks, some things I've been creating. I'm just trying to perfect a couple of them, and I have filmed one or two of them as well. So keep an eye out for those. If you subscribe to my channel, you will get an instant notification on your subscriber list as well um, when any videos have been uploaded. Thank you all so, 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 so much for watching, and I'll see you all soon. Bye!